Radio Shouty. Man, this guy, this a game, man. It's a man, crazy. You backing, up, you, you backing up the food system with the food system. They got, they got food. But but now the people who grow the food ain't got nobody to give it to because you tell my folks shit they can't take the food. Sound like you trying to orchestrate shutting down the food source. It's, it's being orchestrated, man. Only ten people made only ten people made money in the in the in the pandemic, man. And they all was connected to Bill Gates. Hmm. Ten people made a personal personal wealth of over four hundred and eighty billion dollars we talking about folks outside talking about where the food at he, his, his story talking about shit he just bought a new house on the beach come on man they don't buy shit unless they just made something <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never lied again yo Oh man, another question that I want to ask you about. I had uh put up a post from one of our old interviews a while back about you saying why do they throw our heroes away? And why don't they give the respect that's due to you know our heroes? But then I will have to say this though, I did see y'all boys on unsung looking real strong out here in these streets. So I mean, would that be a step in the right direction, or do you think it's just across the industry period that it's a lot of shade? Yeah, man. Uh, shit, man. You can see it going on with the verses. Mm. Have you seen a lot of? Don't nobody want none. <laughs> don't nobody want none, man. They yeah. orchestrate the game, man. They orchestrate the game, man. They change the rules. <laughs> Atlanta niggas call you out. They still be like, "Oh no, can't do that. No, okay, hey, that, 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 no." Damn, you know what I mean? And like Jermaine Dupree, I mean, him and Dallas, I put them against anybody. Yeah. Hey, hey, man, but hey, man, check this out. They wrote it and they produced it. Don't come in here now talking about you wrote something that you ain't wrote now, you ain't produced nothing now. Come on now. Come now, on that, now, what we doing? Now, what we doing now? It's always changing the rules now. You know? <laughs> you know? I didn't know so many people had ghost writers way back then. I didn't know. Y'all talking about Drake and y'all had him too. Yeah. Hold up. I damn him. I've been playing the game fucked up. I wrote all that shit for 20 years. Damn. I went in the writer's block, but I ain't go buy nobody lyrics. Shit, I just wrote it out to had some. Other people didn't play that game. I'm sorry. I didn't, I'm not a bone collector. I never wanted to be a CEO or own other artists. I never wanted to do that. You know, I never wanted to take from somebody else that I didn't own. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm sitting back and I own a catalog full of shit that I didn't write. Somebody else money paid for it. Let's be real. You didn't pay for it. Somebody else money paid for it. So if, if them people ain't even got their publishing back going through something like this and they family starving and you sitting back eating all good, hey man, what kind of person are you? Mm. I'm not a bone collector, man. You know what I mean? Some people get off on that. You gotta understand these middle pockets was always made for certain people to have so they can control certain people. They let some of us play it, and they take it from the rest. Shit. If Atlanta been winning so long, everybody at the top of every label should be from Atlanta, right? I had some kind of prominent position, but yeah. do we? Do we? Oh, no. I see a crew of folks that sit there the, where they get to pimp people. They don't know what the fuck going on out here in the streets. They just got the money to pay for it. But does that make them... Did they great? Does that make them have insight? Or does it just make them a good slave owner? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, shit. Why are they no more masterpiece then? You know? Yeah. But this is the time the masterpiece and the babies and and the E40s, this 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 generation right now. With this yeah. with this with this matrix shutting down and everybody worried about the, the, the majors can't control what people hear and see. They can't control what each region here right now. Motherfuckers is in their own house, selecting their own music and not being forced no material. How does everybody go number one, but don't nobody stay number one before a week? Goddamn. The music ain't that good. 
I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Like number one, like goddamn. Number one, like goddamn. What the, the hot shit or something, man? Like you know, we, you know, we everybody get it for a week. You know, you get to run, you know, you know, get the girl for a week, man. But it don't look like only person really stick around and had a real run was Ryder Rich. Yeah. Everybody else record kind of like went up there for a week and it's gone. You know. Mm-hmm. I just think that right now this is the time to really get back to. Making real records, man. You ain't gotta listen to them folk tell you that all oh, people want to hear this, 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 and nah, bro. This this whole situation then created all kind of thoughts, all kind of things going on, all kind of things going on in the sky, mm-hmm. all kind of things going on in people's families, all kind of things. So I want to hear about the real thing. What is the world like now? Because the world that we left, that's dead. Where we at now? That's why they even have a record like, I, don't, I ain't worried about it, because whether the sun come up or it go down, boy, you going to goddamn stay around, man. That's right. If you want me to. You know what I mean? So that's how you ought to feel, anybody else in this game right now. If you were lucky to work, make you some money during this time, you blessed right now. You shouldn't be worried about it, because other folks ain't got that. And everybody who can help somebody, help somebody, man. You can't take it with you. Shit, you might well take you gonna fuck it up on the niggas or something. You might well take it and fuck it up on some real people. So it's like you know, it's just like let's change our thinking, like cause y'all see, man, if this shit get down, if this thing go down for real, for real, it's gonna be about the people that you really, really around every day. So I would say to everybody, let's goddamn get that community thing going back on, like how our grandparents had it, where you know you could leave your door because everybody watching everybody. That's right. Right now, we need to go back to the way the old folks live. Everybody in your community, whether black, white, Indian, uh, African, you need to go over there and say, hey, man, how you doing? I did my name, did my family, how you doing, anything you need. You know, we've been through some tough time, man. If it, I'm going to watch your stuff, watch mine, man. Anything funny, man, I'm going to call you, you call me. Outside of that, man. Shit, man, they can cut this guy. They can cut these goddamn Instagrams and Facebooks off, man. And the real world gonna start. So you better start understanding and getting close to the people that's right next to you. Cause them folks that's on that Instagram, if it go out or that Facebook go out, your computer go out. Hey, man, it's gonna be about the people you know in real life, not the folks on the cyber on the cyber line. Facts. Right. 